Hey everyone, I'm James Cadella. I'm a product manager in Azure Cosmos DB, and I'm joined up here with, by my colleague, Haiyang. Hi everyone, I'm Haiyang. I'm a software engineer at Azure Cosmos DB. So just like the title says, we're gonna go over some uh, tips for doing efficient vector full text and hybrid search in Azure Cosmos DB. We recently just GA'd our full text and hybrid search on Monday, so we're really excited about it. So just briefly in Cosmos DB, right, we know that Cosmos DB can scale incredibly as a world-class database. We're able to do really interesting complex search scenarios in Cosmos DB. Starting off with searching at enormous scale, up to a billion plus vectors with under 100 millisecond latency, and Haiyang is gonna show us that in a little bit. And we're able to do this because we have built-in vector indexing in the Cosmos DB engine powered by the disk ANN based graft index, which is very efficient. We're also able to be up to 41 times less expensive than comparable serverless vector database options. This is because of the powerful disk ANN index combined with the Cosmos DB scale out architecture, and we pass that savings on to you for your searching. And of course, it's recognized internationally as a fantastic database for generative AI applications because of our enterprise grade robustness, like five nines of availability, geo-replication, and newly announced in preview fleet management for fleets of Cosmos DB containers. Now, we don't have a lot of time, so let's jump into a couple of tips and then we'll go through the code, right? So let's talk about the first thing you would do, right, is the ingestion path, right? Inserting your, your, your JSON documents, inserting your documents into Cosmos DB with your vector embeddings co-located in those documents for vector search, right? We all know that like doing operations sequentially one by one can be slow, right? So what we advise to do is use the Cosmos DB SDK's bulk execution mode, right? Which actually helps you uh, insert documents more efficiently and faster with higher volume into each partition. Additionally, the Cosmos DB .NET and Java SDKs have a setting for max concurrency. And you can set this to minus one and allow your client to optimize the usage of compute on your client side so it can really uh, uh, maximize the efficiency of inserting documents. You also want to make sure that you're provisioning enough throughput, right? In Cosmos DB, we have request units, or basically compute, that you pay for throughput in our, for example, in our auto scale mode. So provisioning high enough throughput ensures that you're not gonna get throttled when you're ingesting very large amounts of data. And then finally, for extremely large workloads, we also have a Spark connector. And so you can use this to scale out to even, you know, these enormous planet-sized uh, workloads. Now, for queries, queries are actually really efficient in Cosmos DB. And in Cosmos DB, we can do cross-partition queries, right? So Azure Cosmos DB automatically shards and partitions your data for you, and you can execute queries across all partitions concurrently. Haiyang's gonna show an example of that. Alternatively, you can focus your queries to a partition, a set of partitions, or even to a specific vector index to have even faster search. Now, we all know in vector search, there's a trade-off between maybe speed and accuracy or recall, right? So if I want higher accuracy, uh, I, I have to pay for the expense of, uh, of latency. And if I want lower latency, there's a trade-off with accuracy, right? Well, the great thing is in Cosmos DB, vector search is just part of our query syntax. We actually offer you parameters so you can tune this dynamically at query time. So if some scenarios require a query where you need super high accuracy, you can just tune that knob a little bit higher. If you need super low latency, you can tune that knob a little bit lower and get even faster search. And then finally, I mentioned that we just GA'd uh, our text search and hybrid search capability. So I'll walk through some setup practices about how to set up those indexes. Um, but uh, let's just jump right into it. I'm gonna turn it over to Haiyang so he can show some example here. Um, uh, maybe you do the demo first. I can do follow because my connection lost. Okay, cool. So then I, I guess I will follow, I'll actually go first with uh, set how to set up a container for full text and vector search, which is actually a good prerequisite here, right? So in Cosmos DB, we have this notion of container policies. The container policy basically tells Cosmos DB where to look for vectors in your JSON documents or in your documents, and also where to look for uh, text paths that are going to be added to a full text index. So you can see an example here of a vector embedding policy where I'm saying in my JSON document, I have a path called embedding. It's gonna be float32 type. 
I want to use a cosine similarity function to compute vector similarity, and I'm going to specify the number of dimensions that my vector has. Similarly, I define things for the Cosmos DB backend in my full text policy. So in this example, I'm saying I'm going to use English, and I'm going to, I'm going to index two paths, a description and a summary review. In this example here, I've already preloaded a Cosmos DB container with some fake data for an eVTL shop. So I have a bunch of product data and product metadata and vectors that are associated with it there. Now, after I define those policies, I can just define an indexing policy for this, right? So Cosmos DB automatically indexes uh, properties in your JSON document, so that's really easy. And I have to go in and add uh, specific indexes for vector search and for full text search. And to do that is really easy, right? I basically say, here's the path towards my vector, vector embedding. Here's the type of index I want to use. We have a few different types, but disk ANN is the one that's most scalable. And then I can define full text indexes on those property paths that I've already defined, right? So description of my products and maybe summary or the review. Then executing a search is really easy. So in my example uh, uh, data set here, I'm gonna search for luxury bags uh, and I'm gonna run a couple different searches. So I'll do a vector search. And so I'm gonna generate vector embeddings uh, for that phrase luxury bags. And then here's what a query looks like, right? I am going to select top 10, I'm gonna project some properties in my documents, project the score, and then order by vector distance. And this is gonna leverage the disk ANN base index to do really efficient search. So I could go ahead and I can execute that. Maybe the network <laughs> isn't the best here for me to ex be executing this on my laptop, but I can see some of the results that come back, right? I can see the ID that I projected for my search. I can see the product name, the description, and the vector similarity score here as well, and sorted in descending order of semantic similarity, which is really cool. There's other examples here as well of doing a, f a simple text search using the full text contains operator, right? Uh, in this case, I'm using full text contains any. So I may want to see uh, documents where the description contains any of these key terms that I had, right? So the terms that I had here previously were uh, luxury bags, right? So I want to go and see all the uh, top five items that contain luxury bags. And so I'm guaranteed to find results that contain at least those search terms. Now, we also offer full text scoring, right? So we use the BM25 method to rank the results that come back based on the statistics of the term. So if I have certain words that appear in documents more often, maybe those documents are more important to my search query, right? And so I can, I can do this easily using order by rank full text score. And again, it's part of the query syntax. So I can go ahead and execute that and it's super fast. And then if I want to combine the two, right? So get the best of both worlds, semantic similarity from the vector embeddings, and then also statistical measures of those text terms from full text search and combine them using hybrid search. And I can go ahead and execute that. Again, it's just another simple query that I can go ahead and execute. And it's now generally available in Azure Cosmos DB. So uh, there you have it. I just was able to define an indexing policy right away and actually do some search. I already inserted my data ahead of time, but if you're curious on how you can do this, all the code that I showed here, along with some sample data, is all available in a GitHub repository, and I'll show the link at the end of it here. Um, I have a couple other examples here, but I think maybe I'm gonna shoot over to Haiyang uh, just for the sake of time here, because he's gonna show you some really cool stuff about how you can set yourself up for success for very large scale uh, vector indexing and search. So Haiyang, take it away. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at the billion scale vector search. As you know, the Azure Custom DB can scale to uh, ultimately unlimited capacity, but for the large scale vector that will span across partition, then before you ingest the data, we suggest you provision uh, a higher RU for your connection so the system can create a multiple partition in advance. Then we can uh, distribute the load at the beginning. Also, let me show, so that's we, we so, uh, yeah. I think that's pretty cool what you just said, right? So I can provision a higher number of, a uh, higher amount of throughput at the beginning to help make sure my vector ingestion and indexing is really sped up. And because Cosmos DB is highly elastic, then I can scale back down if I don't need that much throughput immediately. But I can do this dynamically to really help uh, if I have large insertions or, or variable traffic demands. Yes, and also we suggest to enable the allow bulk execution uh, with the client because that's allow you to ingest them fast for a single, like for, within the partition, that can batch the vector ingestion. 
I see. So by increasing the RUs, you're going to parallelize across yeah. partitions. And with bulk execution, you're going to maximize throughput on each of those partitions. Uh, yes, correct. And we already use that best practice to create the vector index already, like the bidding scale index there. And okay. uh, yeah, as you can see, we, we have the document inside the connector connection. So here we have just a container set up with a billion vectors from the MS Turing uh, d vector data set. Yeah, so as we just said, we can scale up, scale down, auto scale after you ingest the data and to keep the cost low. And then let's shoot it to run a query on this bidding scale vector. So I already have the code build, so I just use uh, Config. Okay, let's, well, let's, let's take a look at some of your settings. So you have max concurrency set to 40. So if you know how many physical partitions you have, you can tune that. Or you can choose it minus, you can set it to minus one and allow the SDK to determine how to optimally use the client side. Okay, let's see uh, what the latency is. So. Cool. Okay, so this is, a lot of stuff is happening here. So uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I think we just executed 10 vector searches, 10 distinct vector searches on yeah. a billion vectors. Yes, Okay. exactly. We have the ground tools file and the query, uh, query file here. We query against the data, yep. and then we evaluate the accuracy. So you see we have like almost 94 recall. Cool. And we can increase the... Uh, oh, hang on a sec, because there's something really cool here also, right? So we can see that the average RU charge is 611 RUs, right? So this is a cross-partition query on 33 partitions, and we're able to hit 611 uh, uh, RU charge, which is amazing, right? Like I can do like 1500 or like 2000 of these queries for under 25 cents using Cosmos DB serverless. It's like really impactful. And, and the average latency, look at that, 85 milliseconds, that's incredible. Yeah. Okay, do you want to say increase the search list multiplier? Yeah, demo? let's do it, yeah. right? So I mentioned the search list multiplier allows me to tune higher accuracy or high or lower latency if I want to. So go ahead and adjust okay. that. Okay, I'm going to run that. So you set it higher this time, right? Yeah, the 20. Okay. Still pretty fast. Yeah, but you see the recall? What's the recall rate? I can't read it from here. 98%. Wow, that's amazing. So you can tune at query time if I want super high accuracy or super low latency. Yeah, do we want to run more? <laughs> Everyone, people can come up afterwards and we'll run yeah. a whole bunch of tests for you. Okay. Um, so, uh, that was really cool, right? So we saw an example of how you can do this. Again, there is, there is actually an entire suite for running a variety of uh, vector search tests. So if you're interested in saying like, hey, I want to experiment with a couple different scenarios, we have an entire code library uh, in C Sharp that can help you do this. It's available on the GitHub repository that I'll show up here in a minute. Um, and the data sets there as well. So you can actually get large data sets and experiment them, uh, with them themselves. Um, and, uh, and then you can go from there and, and really you know, uh, strengthen your understanding of how to use Cosmos DB. So I'll switch back to uh, my laptop, I think, here, and I will switch back to our slide deck, and I'll leave you with a couple of links for uh, you to get started with, right? So what Haying just showed, we actually wrote a blog post in the Azure Cosmos DB dev blogs, and you can go check it out at the AKMS link up top. And you could read all about the experimental setup and how to use the code sample to do large scale vector search yourself. Now, we also have all the code and examples and things we talked about are actually on a GitHub repository that you can go and check out on the second aka.ms link. We've also announced multiple different features and new, new additions to the Cosmos DB range of features, in addition to all the great search things that I mentioned around full text search and hybrid search. And you can check them out in our dev blogs link as well. And then finally, we've recently published a white paper. So if you're curious about how Azure Cosmos DB can do vector search at enormous scale and how we implemented the disk ANN index into the Cosmos DB backend, the full details are actually available in archive and you can see additional performance characteristics and comparisons with other enterprise grade vector databases that are serverless. You can see performance and pricing differences as well. So I think that about wraps up our time. Uh, we're more than happy to answer some questions for you up here. Uh, and you can also come check out the Cosmos DB booth where we'll be for a little bit. So thanks everyone. Thanks, Thank man. you everyone.